for Carolina Crash Chris Michaels being the YTWE 18 plus world heavyweight champion I feel the need to speak up on something to speak up and be the voice of the voiceless on behalf of Mr. Vlogger Bob there is a man that needs your help Mr. DeVito now I do not know who in the world Vlogger Bob is with right now? But he seems to be a mean guy. And I don't like that. You know, because he is not helping. He's losing his temper with Vlogger Bob. Vlogger Bob coming out of a coma. Mr. DeVito, this man is needing you. His brother, his family. Mr. DeVito, I'm telling you right now, if you stepped in the ring with me, I'd shake your hand. I'd shake your hand. I would say, Mr. D, look at what I won for us. For us, everybody, the locker room and the fans, here in the YTWE 18 Plus, I won this for us. Warning. This video is not for minors. Characters used in this E-Federation have all given their consent. This material is make-believe and has been rated M for mature. If video game violence offends you, please click out of this video now. 18 and older only for super caution. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the Match Card Show for High Risk and Jake. What a great show we have got lined up for the fans. Oh, we've got a right ripper lined up for tomorrow night, mate. We've got some amazing matches on that show. Everyone's going to be running at high risk, gambling with their lives. Yes, they are, Jake. That's what it's all about. And our first match is the ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship with your favourite, David Rivera, the instant classic, trying to regain that Intercontinental Championship against Mike Miner. Well, you know he's going to do it. Everybody knows Dave's getting his title back tomorrow night at high risk. I don't need to say too much more. So why don't we go and hear from Dave and the unworthy one. The following is a special report from the NCC. YTWE 18 Plus, yours truly, David the NC Classic Rivera. Leading into high risk this Sunday, kind of like a little bit of high voltage going there, might I add. Well, the NC Connection is most certainly going to be busy, not just with the YTWE 18 Plus Intercontinental Championship match in that ladder match where I will face and beat the shit out of Michael Miner, get my title back. Not only that, move on into the Tag Team Championship match into the finals and go up against Hexen and Bringer of Rain. And I know they're looking to call themselves the Armageddon of the YTWE 18 Plus. Well, it's not going to be the end of the world for the NC Connection. What's going to be the end of the world is for your savvy asses at the end of the month show. That's what's going to happen when the NC Connection gets the Tag Team Championship belts and make history once again like we always do each and every damn time. So the NC Connection not only getting the YTWE 18 Plus in the Championship, but also Chris having the World Title and we will both have the Tag Team Championships. And I know Jake, our honorary member, one of our favorites, We'll be there and hopefully you won't screw us over if you know what's best for you. And I know you boy Pat having the alliance with us. I know you got your work cut out for you and your match and your Monsters Ball match with one half of the world is ours. So hopefully they won't get involved. So I'll be having eyes in the back of my head. Not only in the IC title match but in the tag team match. Because hopefully things will get out of hand. Not only with that, but we have Jake at our side, so what can go wrong? Well, bring your all, whatever the hell that you have to do. It could be the end of the world, like the walking fucking dead out there. Because we got the Negan. We got, yes, 
they're in the hot seat. So, bring whatever you want to bring, Hex in and bring her a brain. Because the NC Connection has everything on our side. And we will defeat you. We will win. And be called the, not only NC Connection, but the NC Connection will be Tag Team Champions. Making believers, not only out of Joe on commentary, how about it? But also believers in the YTWE 18 Plus fans. So, I'll see you all at high risk. Because all the risk is going to be happening. And there's going to be some risky shit. But the NC Connection will be the ones on top. YTWE18+, Plus. it is I, your Intercontinental the YTWE18+, Plus Intercontinental Champion. I see it. At high risk, this Sunday, I take on David Riviera for his rematch, which I had no idea what happened to me during the rematch for his world title, because, I don't know, I was attacked, something, I was getting the day off, or something, I don't know. So David Riviera, Jake, you can't. You can't uh, blame me for that, but uh, so YTWE 18 plus management and Uncle Jake, as they call him now, which I hope he gets beat up from uh, what's his name, uh, whatever the guy's name is, uh, Boston fan. How Boston fan beats the snot out of him because at YTWE 18 plus high risk. I'm defending my Intercontinental title in a ladder match. So far, I've never been into a ladder match, so this is pretty much my first, and David Riviera is the master of the ladder matches. But David Riviera, I, I, I have one thing. You're not getting your Intercontinental Championship back. Because you know why? Because I'm destructive. I'm going to destroy you in your cage match. In your ladder match, actually, that you're so-called scheduling for us to face in. And you're going to lose. So, the YTWE 18 Plus Intercontinental Champion has to go because i got busy things to do. i got training, as you can see, walking, getting some exercise, listening to some Hail to the King, which I pretty much am the King of e-feds but not, not really much of a king of the e-feds i do this for fun but anyways the champ is out and for you david Rivera, i'm gonna beat you and then maybe after the match i might just put your your daddy o uncle was your uncle jake i'll put him through the table and put him through the announce table so I could get you a little more injured, David Rivera, so uh, Death Clock Armageddon can pick the rest out of you because they're going to win the tag titles, which they are my picks to win the tag title tournament of Hexen and Bring a Rain 13, which I respect because I don't want to go against them because if I do, yeah, I get my ass kicked. But anyways, I'm out of here. The champs got to go do some busy things here at the post office. So, deuces and uh, David Rivera, all hail to the IC champ. Well, you know, that unworthy motherfucker's got a lot to say for himself, but at the end of the day, it's going to be the end of his run tomorrow night at high risk. And along with that, tomorrow night, Joe, we got a three way women's match. We got Cajun Tinkerbell, Cameo, and Lily Blessed. Yes, a very big match, a very important match, because the winner of this triple threat will be the new number one contender for the women's championship. Sounds bloody great to me, mate. No, well, sounds great to me. Pimp Daddy taking on Rent with Jeff, 
and against, and I really hope him daddy brings some of those sealers out there. Yeah, you hear me both, Jake, but I love Pimp Daddy and I love Rant with Jeff, their promos, what they're doing in the ring, everything, what they've been through the last year or two, longer than that. But yes, this rivalry, this feud has been building and I don't like Pimp Daddy's chances in this match. Well, you never know, his prize he's a fucking tough guy, that old fella, so uh, you never know. But why don't we go and hear from Rant with Jeff and maybe Pim Daddy if he's if he's about, eh? Hello, bitches. Pim Daddy Sunday. Mmm, motherfucker, I look good. Sunday at high risk. You know, normally, I don't like to make fun of the old people. I know you and me are kind of on that same age level, except you about 50 fucking years older than I am, and it shows, my friend. Look, Pim Daddy, ain't that a motherfucker? See how you fuck my day up? But you just like the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Useless bitch. I broke that motherfucker. Damn. Oh man, if I have to wake up at the crack of noon just to whip your ass. Mm. Oh, I need a cigarette because it's going to be a motherfucking good day. Boy. Well, some interesting words there, Jake. Now, this is the match I think I'm looking forward to the most, to be honest. Your boy Pat versus Enraged XX in a King of the Monsters match. Oh, bloody hell, mate. These guys ripped each other apart. Um, and they, they was out there during that uh, Boston fan match. Sorry, Chris Michaels match the other night. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fuck it. I hope Pat rips and raced apart. I really do. Why are you holding me back? You know this is the right choice. You need me. You know you need me. You know what's at stake here at high risk. This is a king of the monster match. And this guy is a monster. He's going to be bringing everything. He has size. He has strength. He wants to hurt you. But you are steadily holding back. The only way we're going to beat this guy is we're going to have to stoop to his level. You're doing everything you can to hold me back. But the more you hold me back, he's going to keep kicking your ass. Let's give this guy a taste of his own medicine. And the only way doing that is setting me free. Do it, Pat. Unleash these shackles. Set me free. Set me free. Hello, YTWE 18 Plus. I'm here. <laughs> And talking of being ripped apart, uh, you know, your boy Pat can take, a ra take out Enraged. But I'm hoping that Babbling Brook will take out Cat Riley and Nana D as Babbling Brook goes for that women's championship tomorrow night at high risk. Jake, I think I've got to take your temperature. Like, you've... What? Are you Okay. What's the matter with you, mate? What's the matter? With, what's the matter with me? What's the matter with you? You, ah, oh, this is this is a different side of you, Jake. You always talk about Nana D and how much you like her and everything like that, and now you're changing to Babbling Brook. Well, you know, I do love Nana D and I love looking at Nana D, but 
you know, she's with the world is ours or she's at least associated with them. And, you know, if they're going to keep getting in my business, that McFucker put his fucking hands on me and I'm not going to forget that. He will be punished for that. I promise you. So, you know, yeah, that's why I'm on Brookside in this one. Well, um, to be honest, I wasn't even going to do one of these. Uh, they wanted me to make a final thoughts before heading to my match, so I figure why not. Robert, I'm not going to say anything funny. I'm not going to say anything clever. I'm just going to be straight up with you. At high risk, I have to beat you. I have to win this match. To prove to myself and to prove to all these idiots who YTWE that I belong in that ring. Because if I don't beat you, I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what to do. Do I have to train harder at the gym? Do I have to lift heavier dumbbells? Maybe. But ever since I came here with YTWE, a lot of people will look at me as some type of a clown, some type of circus act. You see, I could have taken hand me down from management. They love me. But I told them, you know what? I want to work my way up here. I want to... If I want to be the best, i got to beat the best. And I have. I've beaten Hexen. I have almost beaten Boston Fan to become the YTWE champion. This close. I tasted the gold. But I came up short. So maybe I jumped the gun a bit. So I decided to take a few steps back and focus on a former champion in you, Robert. You see, Robert, you're telling me I hope you bring your best. Well, trust me, I'll bring my best. You don't have to worry about that. I'm worried about you. Because I hope your mind is focused on me 100%. Because you seem like you have a little issue with your tag team partner, Gavin, and some unfinished business with Boston Fan. So I'm wondering if you're even ready for this match, Robert. Because if I beat you, no, 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 no. When I beat you, I don't want to hear no excuses. Well, I had this guy and that guy. No, I don't want to hear that shit. This is high risk. This is me and you. So, Robert, I'll see you in the ring. That's it. I'm done. Okay, fair enough, Jake. Well, our next match is a first in the YTWE, as others are on this particular night. Um, but it is Robert Rage versus Travis Sparks. Now, that one is going to be an incredible match of the night. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be the match of the night, but it could well be. Travis Sparks is a hell of a competitor. He does some amazing shit out there, you know, and Robert Rage, he's an incredible wrestler. So I think we're going to see something special out of these two guys. My pick for that fight, I know Travis needs it, and he needs it bad. Otherwise, he's going to end up on the same level as Gavin Fletcher. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> yes, you're right, Jake. Travis does need a win. So tomorrow night, it is high risk. And no, Travis, I do not see you as a clown. I take you very seriously, my friend. My business with Boston fan is over, finished, done for now. My business at the moment is with the bringer of rain, and you will see me very soon, bringer. But Travis, you will get my full attention, my full focus tomorrow night at high risk. So lace up your boots and get ready for some pain. You know, many people do different things to mentally prepare themselves for what's to come. Bring a rain prepares himself on his own, in his own way, and I prepare myself by sitting here, thinking, knowing, and foreseeing what's to come. And what's to come, whether you all like it or not, is a new age. A new 
era. Death Clock Armageddon will be victorious. We will claim the YTWE 18 Plus Tag Team Championships. On this very same day, the end of an era also occurs. You see, this NC connection has been running through this YTWE since I've arrived here. Running their mouths respectfully. But some people are sick of it. Some people are fed up with it. Who is Chris Michaels? Who is David Rivera? Just another face. My face isn't like yours. Bring a rain's face isn't like yours. We're all different. <laughs> And with that being said, the end of the NC Connection era is going to start when we win the tag team titles. And after, after this happens, you will know the name of Death Clock Armageddon. You will not look at us in jokes anymore. You will all be forced to take us seriously. And that is exactly what's going to happen. And if you don't take us seriously by now, then you no need to fucking wake up and get some sense into your brains. I, myself, and the Bringer of Rain have single-handedly Run roughshaw through this federation. And did things our way. And everything we've said we were going to do, we have done. I said I was going to win the Scott Casey Gale EFED Invitational. And lo and behold, I did. I said I was going to awaken the bringer of rain to his normal state. And I did. I did it all. I said I was going to crush Uncle from Hell, and I did. And now, I say, we are going to single-handedly defeat the NC Connection at the end of this tournament, and we're going to walk out the new tag team champions, and that is the bottom line. That is the facts. So get used to this face. Being in the front. <sighs> Time's ticking. The clock ticks and ticks until that bell rings. Everything changes, and we don't need anyone's help. To do the job. So I suggest everyone who thinks there's someone stays out of it. That's you, Enraged X. That's you, McFucker Nuggets, whatever the hell your name is. That's you, my boy Pat. Stay the hell away from this match because I want it to be pure. I want to single handedly defeat. The NC connection with my brother, the bringer of rain. Fair and square. So there is no excuses! And then, from that point on, destruction's going viral. <laughs> so you get ready, and you should always ex. Respect us.
<laughs> the main event is oh, the yeah. finals of the tag team tournaments with the NC Connection versus Death Clock Armageddon. And what a finals it will be, Jake. Oh, yeah, this is where the NC Connection completes its collection. As we have the world title, we'll take the IC title, and we'll finish that show as the Grand Slam champions of the YTWE. And that death clock Armageddon, you can do all the talking you like. You can say what you want about my boys, you know. But I know they're the two greatest, the greatest in the world. The NC Connection, Chris Michaels, David Rivera, Death Clock Armageddon. You can't even lace their shoes, mate. <laughs> you can't lace their boots. All right. So tomorrow night we got new tag team champions, Joe. I guarantee see it. NC Connection all the way. Well, join us tomorrow night for high risk because it will be one hell of a show. Man, time sure does fly when you're having fun. Boston fan, David Rivera, the North Carolina Connection. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I can't call you Boston fan anymore because you've changed your name to that of an energy drink. Carolina Crash is what you want to be called now. Cool. Whatever floats your boat. And David Rivera... I don't know how you survived President Trump's immigration raids, but somehow, someway, you've pulled it off, so you're already a winner in that respect. Unfortunately for you, you will not be winning tomorrow night at high risk, because at high risk, myself and Hexen become the new YTWE 18 Plus Tag Team Champions. Learn to love it, because it's gonna fucking happen.